Hi guys. Now we are discussing about data types, operators and variables. Now first of all, we would like to understand about eight primitive data types. Now what are they? First of all, integer short for int <coughs> then byte byte then you have short short and then you have long Now the small word is a use of uh, this data type float float you have to declare with small letters that means int byte short long float double then boolean then you have characters so now you can see integer int byte short long float double boolean character so these are the eight primitive data types now on the basis of these data types we will be moving forward and we must know the default value for each field that means integer has a default value 0 ok short has default value 0 and uh, Short has default value 0, byte has default value 0, and then short has default value 0. Then long is 0L, 0L, then float is 0.0F, float is 0.0F, and double is 0.0D. And double is 0 0.0 D and character is uh, you will be using single quote and a null character backslash u 0 0 0 0 4 zeros that's it this is a character value and boolean is by default false when it is false so these are the values now I'm going to include a string as well here uh, string is a default value null so these are the data types and the values so these are the data types so you will be using to store numerical values or any big or short values you can use these data types for any decision making boolean variables any uh, any statement storing you can use string any for simple character or combination of characters short characters you will use character and for the initialization for example you are going to just use yes and no option so yes it could be initialized with either yes y or no n so keep watching now moving on to operators now we have different types of operators simple assignment 
that is equals to now moving on to arithmetic operators arithmetic operators then we have additive uh, is known as additive which is used to concatenate concatenate or add and and to add then we have negative that is used as subtracting the values subtract values then we have multiplication that is asterisk or yes that is asterisk is used multiply values and forward slash is used to divide values and percent is used to to take remainder or use is used to is used as remainder operator so the next is on uh, now we have unary operators that includes now this includes plus operator a uh, unary plus indicates positive value then we have negative unary minus operator negates an expression that negates an expression the third is plus plus that means this is also known as increment and increment operator increments by 1 and double negative sign that is an that is a decrement operator decrements by 1 for example if you want to add by 1 so you will be using this value if you want to decrease by 1 for example reverse counting 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95 and so on till 1 or 0 so you will be putting this negative or if you want to increase numbers so you will be using double plus for simple addition or subtraction you will be using these plus signs and this is another that is sign of exclamation is used as logical complement operator inverse the value of a boolean inverse a value 
अथवा बुलियन सो दीज आर यूनिटरी ऑपरेटर्स Now we are moving on to equality. And rational operators. What are they? Double equals to equals to. That means if A has ten. And you want to check B that whether A has 10 or B has 10. You need to use this equal sign to validate that A contains B and B contains B. B contains 10, A contains 10, and B contains 10. So this equal sign will be used. If you want to test a condition, you must be using this sign. Then you have not equals to. Not equals to. Right. Then you will be having greater than greater than. Then you will be having less than less than operator. Then you will be having greater than equals to Equals to, and you will be having less than equals to equals to operator. As you know, the re relationship with this operators that they will vary whether the value is equals to, not equals to, or greater than equals to, or less than equals to. So, for example, some cases you want to uh, compare a percentage or some other people's progress rather than uh, with, uh, with the other people. So, you will be using these symbols. so keep them in mind now the fifth part we have conditional operators what are they let's see double ampersand is used to apply logical and gate double pipe sign is used to apply logical or and conditional equals to is a ternary operator it is also known as ternary operator is a ternary operator and short for if then and else statement that means in one statement you can apply the whole set of condition now we have type comparison operators see basically this is an instance of instance of which compares an object to a specified type so this is the type companion operator now the other one we have is bitwise and bit shift operators operators what are they now the tiled sign unary bitwise complement
unary bitwise complement then we have double angle brackets less than angle brackets is used to the sign left shift is a sign left shift operator then we have double greater sign is a sign right shift then we have three angles this is unsigned right shift unsigned right shift and we have single ampersand is used to perform bitwise ends perform bitwise end then a single pipe sign is used to perform bitwise exclusive or oh sorry bitwise inclusive or inclusive or and the caret sign is used to perform bitwise exclusive or ah now basically this style tan is for a complement unary operator you can see this here is a right is a signed left shift means if this is given 1 0 will be removed from left if this is applied then 1 0 will be removed from right two zeros this is two zeros this is two zeros from right left is two zeros from right this is three means uh, three zeros from from right so ampersand bit operator and these are the operators which are used to uh, function and basically if you are working on registers other things so Uh, you will need these operators, which are from starting from here, and all these bitwise operators, shift operators. Keep watching. Now we are moving to understand variables. What are they? Value. can store values it can be constant or they can be used as an identifier for example for example int a is an integer variable or identifier now there are four kinds of variables instance variables now which we have here instance variable we have class variables we have local variables we have parameters and global variables parameters and we have global variables so these are the types of variables so each type has its own understanding so i'm just uh, telling you about 
uh, the instance variable and that's it thanks for watching